iko kama makengine hapo mimi sijui ameolewa juzi hata tumbo ya kwanza hijatupatia mtoto lakini saa hii anafikiria ile kitu kubwa atazaa ati nikutuzalia bibi yae mwambieni ngo give birth first before you can talk to anyone about bbi these are the words of like keep your women representative kate waruguru to kirinyaga governor and waiguru my name is lynn gugi let's get started Now, in case you are wondering why everyone is mad at Kate Waruguru, it's simply because during a rally in Wasingishu County, she decided to hurl insults at Kirinyaga Governor Anne Waiguru simply because months after getting married to her new husband Waiganjo, she has not given him a baby. Iko kama mama kengine hapo, mimi sijui. Ameolewa juzi, hata tumbo ya kwanza hijatupatia mtoto. Lakini saa hii anafikiria ile kitu kubwa atazaa ati nikutuzalia bibi yae. Mwambieni ngo. Her insults came just few days after Anwe Guru accompanied ODM leader Raila Odinga to Kibra to campaign for Imran Okot. Actually, Kate Waruguru even dared ODM to send a candidate in Kirinyaga to see if they will win. Tunakuomba tafadhali resign kiti yako uambie ODM wasimame kiti ya governor ndani ya county ya Kirinyaga tuone kama watapata ama wataenda wakili yako and it's evident she's not a supporter of BBI and it's also evident she's team Tanga Tanga but kama uko team Tanga Tanga ama team Kieleweke can we just use the platforms we are given to address the public and to talk about issues that are affecting the public directly ama nam <laughs> Ama namna gani my friends ili kwa hivyo kataa kutoka ama namna gani yeah and Kenyans did not take lightly to this and this is what many had to say Lilian Mutembei said as a woman I am really disturbed that a woman leader can attack another woman with a personal issue I wouldn't mind if the attack is based in real development issue or political but this one you completely lost it women are enemies of their own and Wanjo he says Kate knows how to talk but to less important issues we people of Laikipia county need good roads and more factories more company to help farmers to procedure their farm produced add value add value so that they can get good market and the youth of Laikipia won't go to work in other counties and Masi Yule wa Chaki says so I woke up early in the morning to go vote for someone who is right now thinking about the fertility of another woman come 2022 God if you see me Kualain I pray you strike me I die right there I will never vote again okay strong sentiments right there Matembel Obunde says let Waiguru decide what is best for her marriage is not all about children besides you have snatched somebody's husband biblically and finally Stella Kiptum says how do you ridicule someone on terms of God's doing children are given by God may God forgive us this generation and as you can tell many Kenyans are not pleased with what Kate Waruguru said simply because and I'm just like is this the first thing that she does whenever she gets a podium, whenever she gets to address the public? Let's not forget, months back, she accused the president of hating on the people of central Kenya since they had the handshake. Tangu huyu mtu anaitwa baba, alipokutembelea, umeanza kuchukia watoto. And I am like, are you not going to use this platform to address issues that are affecting people? Unemployment is a big deal in this country. We have women who are going without sanitary pads and all you do whenever you get a platform is use that platform to attack another woman and let's not forget what message are you sending to girls or women out there that the first month after you get married or the first few months after you get married all you have to do is start giving your husband kids I mean what kind of leaders are these, my people let me ask what kind of leaders are this what kind of leaders are this we should start just in our leaders objectively like I would be so pleased if she went out and started talking about how she will offer the youths of Laikipia employment or what employment suggestions she has for the youths of Laikipia instead of where and Uzai I mean, these leaders, you know, like 
Kenyans, Miss Yelewi, we wake up early in the morning to go and vote and then when these leaders start speaking, you are like, who did we elect? Waigoro, waigoro, waade, waigoro wanako. Sifikiria ukipewa round ya kwanza na jubilee, wewe ndia utakuwa wangu wa makeri katika mlima Kenya. Like, do we even get to understand these leaders' manifesto before we cast a vote? Because, Kate Waruguru, what message are you sending to women out here? Like, you are accusing another woman <laughs> on the fact that she has not given birth since she got married. Now, see, so you just use the podium and tell people what you are going to do, what you have done for them, what's the move forward, instead of telling another woman, I end as I. And let's not forget when these leaders were elected, they had a manifesto, you know, they told Kenyans, this is what we are going to to do for you. Let us deal with the manifesto, let us deal with the promises that you promised Kenyans and not how another woman should be conceiving or not conceiving for her new husband. Ama namna gani? Ama you my people, if you are watching, what do you think about this issue? As always, I love to hear your views. I would love to hear what you have to say about this and I also want to hear what has your leader done for you or to you since you put them in office. My name is Lynn Gugi. I'm out. What is wrong, honey? I got scammed at the market. This wouldn't have happened if you used Gigi. Mm. Gigi is a huge online marketplace where you can buy and sell goods such as cars, smartphones, or even houses. Gigi is absolutely free. Gigi! Wow!